All right, friends. Welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel 9 and Vue 3 application. And in this video, we'll be working on doing some cleanup. So let me go to list users dot view file, and here we have this file, and here we have written everything related to the user functionality, right? So it will be better if we can extract some of these functionality into its own component, so that it will be easy to read and easy to maintain, right? Also, throughout this video, you will learn how to use Vue 3 events where we'll be firing the events from child to the parent component. So without further delay, let's get started. First of all, let me start by giving this file a better name. So instead of list users, let me change this to user list. Okay. And let's fix this. Uh, if we go to routes.js and over here, we are using this old component. So let me change this to user list as well and over here as well user list okay perfect now let me create another file for user list item so let me create another file called user list item dot view and if i go to user list and we'll be extracting this specific row okay we'll be extracting this row and before that let me check everything is working so let me open up the console and we do not have any errors so it seems fine and now we can extract this part into its own component called user list item so let me remove this from here and inside this we can use that component so user list item and we need to import that and this got automatically imported over here and let me go to user list item and let me define a template inside it let me paste that code let's indent it and we need to accept some props so instead of a script setup we'll define the props and we'll be accepting user right and it will be object and also we'll be accessing index as well so let's define index of type number and we need to pass these two props uh, from that component so instead of using before over here let me remove it and use it directly uh, over here so let me go to user list item let me paste that Now we need to pass a user of as a props also index. Okay, this is fine. If I refresh this page and we have some issues, so let me open up the console and here it is saying that format date is not a function. So we need to import that format date. So let me go over here and we don't need this from add date here so we'll be using inside of user list item component let me refresh it again and this is working right but if i click on this delete icon it is saying that confirm user delete is not a function so we'll be extracting this delete functionality code onto that component as well so let me scroll it a little bit and here we have this uh, deletion functionality so let me remove it from here and put it inside of user list item component and here we do not have user id being deleted defined so let me go to this user list and then let's remove this And paste it over here okay now if I refresh it again let me and it is giving ref is not defined okay so we need to import ref from view now let me refresh it now everything looks good if I click on delete we see this pop-up model and then we can cancel it but if I click on delete user, then it is not doing anything, right? Because 
if I go over here and our model is inside of user list dot view file right and inside this we are calling that delete user uh, function and that function do not exist inside this component so let's move this model from user list to user list item component now let me try this one more time let me click on delete and remember this user we are going to delete and that got deleted but it is saying that users is not defined but if I refresh this that user is being deleted on the server right so let's fix that issue as well so let me go to delete user and we do not have access to users so we'll be removing this line from here and after this we'll be emitting the event called user deleted emit user deleted and we'll be passing the deleted user which is the user id being deleted dot value and then we need to define the emitted events so let me go over here const emit equals define emits and we are emitting the event called user deleted and we need to listen to that event right inside of parent component over here and we need to listen to that event called user deleted and inside this we'll be calling the function called user deleted right and let me create that method user deleted and then we'll be receiving that user id and let me paste that code over here so that it will remove our user in the client side or front end right and now let me refresh it we have this user and if i click on delete delete user that user got deleted but it is saying that toaster is not defined and this user is still here because we are getting this issue if i refresh it then that user is gone right so let's fix that uh, to fix that we need to import toaster so let me go to use user list and on the top we need this user toaster let me go over here paste it but we don't need this one right now let me try one more time let me click on delete delete user and it is saying that user id being deleted is not defined right so let's fix that as well so let me go to user list and then user deleted method over here we do not have access to user id being deleted so we can directly use user id now let's try one more time delete delete user and that user got deleted and this is also being removed from this ui right let me try one more time and that user got deleted which is perfect but if i click on edit we are getting this issue called edit user is not function right so now let's fix this issue let me go to user list item and let me define that method called edit user will be receiving the user and inside this instead of performing the operation let me directly emit the events so emit edit user and let's pass that user and we need to define this emitted events over here now let's listen to that event and then call the edit user a method so we can listen to edit user and call the method call edit user let me refresh it click on edit and then let me remove this click on save and that user got edited which is perfect everything is perfect 
and everything is working fine and finally we successfully extracted some of these functionality into its own component called user list item right and then this file is looking much more cleaner and smaller as well and now we have another file called user list item uh, which is related to user finally we successfully extracted some of the uh, functionality into its own components so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one